contact and said, did I want to meet? I'm a huge fan, so there was absolutely no conflict. I said, yes. And then we made each other love throughout the entire meeting, came up with the idea of Oedipussy, and here we are. Uh, well, we always wanted to do... Uh... Um, the sex. Yes. For the first time, we play a tragedy. It's going to be epic, not just in the tragedy, but in the comedy as well. And the comedy and the tragedy just sort of sit right next to each other. So I think it's going to be the best night out ever. They'll be weeping with laughter, but also tears of, of true pain. This will be the funniest thing you've ever seen, the most surprising, the most stylish, and it works. At the heart of it, there's this Greek motor. I, I find myself being moved by the tragedy in a way that I've never been moved before because we're playing it at such a high level. It's definitely going to be our version of Oedipus, oh, thus the name Oedipussy. We have a, a writer for the first time, which we haven't had before. We've always oh. written, written the shows ourselves with the director. So Carl Gross has come on board to help us kind of, um, make sense of the story. When I think, well, everybody has to be able to enjoy this show. So the one thing you don't have to worry about is, will I understand it and do I need a knowledge of Greek tragedy? No, we spell it out. In fact, you know, we go back through all the backstory and it's quite the funniest thing you've ever seen. There's a, some fantastically huge kind of musical theatre numbers um, drawing on John Barry, you know, the composer from, uh, from James Bond. The spectacle, the drama and the laughs that nobody else dares get. It's a little bit like uh, if you take an LSD and then you go to see a play. <laughs> <laughs> Big, cartoonish, epic, colourful, big extravaganza. You say tasteful, I say dull. <laughs> There's going to be none of that.